This is Brian LeBeau, reporting for PR Video. Third graders in Crystal Doy's class at the Queen Lily Uotalani Elementary School in Honolulu, Hawaii, are teaming up with Jennifer Evans' third grade class at the Natani Nez Elementary School in Shiprock, New Mexico, measuring shadows and comparing their data for a hands-on investigation of how the Earth moves around the sun. And then we wrote down the data and then we shared it on the in the video, video conference with New Mexico. It's part of a pilot program called Ripping Across the Miles, a distance learning model that allows K-12 through students from around the globe to collaborate on research projects in a virtual online laboratory. Technology and inquiry are known motivators that hook K-12 through learners who require unique learning experiences, said Dr. Robert Landsman, president of Anova Science Education Corporation and developer of the Research Investigation Process, or RIP. These motivators have yet to be fully recognized and utilized by teachers in the classroom. According to 7th grade teacher Denise Evans, ripping across the miles is changing that. The novelty of working with students from different parts of the world gets her students excited about learning and improves their performance. When they have someone else to compare data with, they have to use higher level thinking. They think more about what they're doing and they have to back up their decisions with well thought out reasons. Jennifer Evans said, they have real reasons to compare and contrast observations, suggested methods, and results. Doi agrees pointing out that the skills the distance learning project is designed to help us practice for the 21st century to use technology available to us. It increases students' confidence level and motivation. I think the distance learning experience using the RIP impacts our students' level of interest and motivation because it gets them involved in the process. Besides getting students excited about learning, ripping across the miles overcomes a key problem in science education. One of the major challenges in using a scientific inquiry approach in the classroom is the lack of access to resources, said Landsman. A sound distance learning design provides opportunities for students to engage in rich learning experiences that would not otherwise be available to them. Seventh graders in Denise Evans' class at Mesa View Middle School in Farmington, New Mexico, are investigating the impact of river pollution on the Pacific Ocean. In partnership with Carrie Bashaw's science class, at Kaimuki High School in Honolulu, Hawaii. I feel the ripping across the miles design has helped to prepare my students for the future because they now know the world is accessible to them. It will allow them to step out of their Farmington sandbox. It certainly has for Farmington seventh grader Kelsey Johnson, who's been inspired to pursue a career in marine science. This distance learning project gave me the experience that I needed to decide my future as a marine scientist. It gave me the idea about what it's going to be like studying the ocean and the wildlife in it and the impact. Learn stuff at their school and we learn stuff at our school that's different. So like they learn something that we don't know and we learn something that they don't know. According to Bergen Academy technology instructor Evelyn Rios, the success of the Ripping Across the Miles pilot program is encouraging. This is a time when educators are encouraged to heavily emphasize STEM fields, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. But the development of STEM curriculum and achievement of the science standards are sorely lacking. Curriculum based on the merging of scientific inquiry with technology really fits this bill.